Hey guys, thanks, thanks for turning into my next video. I guess we can start off with cleaning up or adding like a blue like div to our paint. I had this ready to go. Um, so we can uncomment this. So what I did was I add, added another div on top of our header and this is our header and I made it and, and I put in a div with the ID top page and I put the text as I sort of follow this image. We have this icon here, untitled and paint. So here we go. We're gonna call our top page ID. So I'll come on this first. So what I did was here, I added a background color of a blue, that match like my theme, I guess, of my application. Um, I added a border radius. So if we, if we only have this one entry for the border radius, it'll curve all of them in by having the four entries and making the last two zero we sort of have this like rounded like roof effect. I made a font family, added some padding, let's see. And I made the color white. Maybe I can add some like the buttons here. What I can do is like similar to the, um, like an Apple application, like having the red, red circle, this is the orange circle and then the green circle. Maybe I can just do that. Let's see if there's emojis. Red circle emoji. Okay, that's one. Boom, one last entry. Let's see if it's all in one line. Huh. Um, let's see. So the only thing about that is, hmm, maybe what we can do is, so we got that to work by adding just more space to the top. Maybe I can just add like a hover to this element. That one is hovered. The pointer would be a clicker. So now if I save that, if you go over here, it's like the, maybe we can do that to these as well. So we can add a class name to all of these. Sure, why not? Tool icon, so we can just bring that in. Save this, if you over, over this, it's gonna be good to go, okay. Let's break it up into const, tool, brush, and Maybe instead of this, you see tensile. Save that. Brush. Okay, cool. And then, so that means this is being passed in correctly, and we broke this down correctly. And then now we need. How do we add a? How do we add a freaking? Okay, maybe we can do a bucket first. If tool equals equals bucket. Oh man, maybe we need the. Let's do the container CSS. Is it a lot? Okay, let's actually bring this in. I want to scrap this CSS file and I want to have it as a, I want to treat the CSS. I want to have the CSS be like dynamic by having a, a placeholder value that will update depending on the color that's being imported. So styling container. So we'll just name it const style equals. So now if you do, style and I put in style it should show up here okay, cool so what we can do here now is style background color so when the tool is bucket you want to change the styles key of the background color to the color that's being imported okay I think that makes sense Let's try this out. Background color is not defined. Let's do dot background color. So if you do this with the bucket, no of object of color. Hmm. <clears throat> Can I read only property of background color? Or oh, we need a use state, I guess. It seems like it's having issues re-rendering in a sense, and we want that to happen every time. We'll set it, we'll just say magic, set magic equals use state. And then we can paste in this, right? Does that look good? From here, now we can use our style as magic. Magic. I have no idea what's going on. I shall try to fix this up and I'll catch you guys in the next video.